VXUS and VEU are two popular index funds from Vanguard for the total international stock market outside the United States. Here we'll dive into their differences, similarities, performance, and why you might want one over the other. VXUS and VEU are two low-cost funds from Vanguard that essentially capture the same segment of the global market, stocks outside the US. For US investors not already using a total world fund like VT, these two provide a quick way to get broad exposure to markets outside one's home country. Let's talk about international index funds in general for a second. Why would you want either of these in the first place? If you've landed here, you probably already know that index funds are a great way to get immediate, broad diversification across all sectors of the stock market, and that it's likely wise to diversify beyond the borders of one's home country. You also probably already know that Vanguard has some of the lowest fees around and a solid track record of providing ETFs that accurately track their indexes. So first, VEU. The fund launched in early 2007 and seeks to track the FTSE All World XUS Net TR US RIC Index. Its mutual fund equivalent is VFWAX. It is considered a sufficient proxy for the entire international stock market outside the US. The fund has about $35 billion in assets. VXUS, on the other hand, launched in 2011 and seeks to track the FTSE Global All Cap XUS Net US RIC Index. Its mutual fund equivalent is VTIAX. Even though it's newer, it is more popular than VEU with about $50 billion dollars in assets. So what's the difference? Well, VEU avoids small cap stocks. It is more expensive to trade in international small caps, so at the time of its creation, Vanguard avoided those, as a total international market segment didn't really exist. Then VXUS came along four years later and included small caps. Also note that while VEU holds about 3,500 stocks, VXUS holds about 7,500. So VXUS essentially contains VEU inside it, and VXUS can be considered more diversified, and is clearly the choice for one who desires to simply own the whole market. The choice might be more nuanced if VEU were cheaper than VXUS, but they cost the same fee of 8 basis points. So basically, VEU is now obsolete. Don't get me wrong, VEU served a great purpose for 4 years, but regulations and technology evolved, allowing for superior products to emerge. This has happened with other Vanguard funds in the past as well. It's likely just too much of a headache to merge or kill off some funds that have significant assets. Assets, so they just let them continue to exist, as is the case with Invesco's QQQ and QQQM. Because these funds are so similar, they make a great pair for tax loss harvesting to avoid the wash sale rule. Another alternative is IXUS from iShares. Now let's talk about the historical performance of VXUS versus VEU. While VXUS includes small caps and VEU doesn't, which is why we'd expect VXUS to beat VEU over the long term, that exposure is largely negligible, and the historical performance of these two funds funds has been virtually identical. In conclusion, since VXUS and VEU have the same fee, the choice seems like a no-brainer. Go with the broader, more liquid VXUS and conveniently also get greater expected returns from its inclusion of small cap stocks. VEU is already inside VXUS and is now essentially obsolete. Conveniently, both of these funds should be available at any major broker. What do you think of VXUS and VEU? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Some of the links below are referral links at no additional cost to you. If you choose to make a purchase or sign up for a service, after clicking through those links, I may receive a small commission. This allows me to continue producing high quality content on this channel and pays for the occasional cup of coffee. I have firsthand experience with every product or service I recommend, and I recommend them because I genuinely believe they are useful.